All right, good morning, second grade students. Today for our science class, we are going to be looking at identifying pushes and pulls. And so for this lesson, we are going to be reading from a textbook on investigating uh, pushes and pulls. So we are going to be starting with chapter one today, which talks about how a force is a push or a pull. And so I just ask that you follow along and read with me as I read through chapter one. So again, chapter one is on a force is a push or a pull. Think about how you start your day. You wake up and push yourself out of bed. You pull a box from the shelf and pour cereal into a bowl. You lift a milk carton and pour the milk. Then you pull spoonfuls of cereal to your mouth. You might not wake up thinking that you are using forces, but you are. A force is a push or a pull. Each time you push or pull something, you use a force. Every time something starts to move, stops moving, or changes direction, forces are involved. Forces change motion. Whenever you cause something to start to move, stop moving, change speed, or change direction, you use forces. Motion is a change of position. Think about kicking a ball. A force from your leg causes the ball to move. The ball is pushed into motion. The force of the kick changes the ball from not moving to moving. As the ball changes location, it is in motion. A bike rider pushes the bike's pedals to begin moving in a race. He pushes the handlebars to change directions to zigzag around the cones. The rider uses forces to change his direction and speed. Forces can also make things stop moving. When the rider is ready to stop, he will stop pushing the bike pedals. He will pull on the bicycle brakes in a way that slows him down. Forces can be balanced or unbalanced. When two equal teams play tug of war, the rope may not move at all. There is no motion. If you add up all the forces acting on the rope, they are equal. The pull from one side equals the pull from the other side. The forces on the rope are balanced forces. What happens to the rope when one side pulls with greater force than the other side? Forces on the rope become unbalanced. Unbalanced forces cause an object's motion to change. One team will begin to win the tug of war. Imagine the tug of war rope sitting still on the ground. You might be surprised that forces are acting on it. The force of gravity is pulling the rope down all the time. The ground also pushes up against the rope. The two forces are equal, but acting in opposite directions. How could you make the forces unbalanced and change the motion of the rope? By pulling on it to pick it up. Gravity is a pulling force. Forces are all around you. You can see or feel many of them, especially when they are unbalanced. You feel forces when someone pushes you on a swing. You feel a pull when someone tugs on your shirt. You might not see or notice it, but the force of gravity pulls on you all the time. Earth's gravity is a force that pulls objects down toward the ground. When you are sitting still, are forces acting on you? Yes, the force of the ground is pushing upward on your body and the force of gravity is pulling you down. You don't float up or sink down because the forces are balanced. If you jump up, the push you apply with your muscles makes the forces unbalanced. You move upward. A force has direction. The dogs in the picture play tug with the rope toy. When the dogs pull the toy with the same amount of force, the toy does not move. The forces are balanced. 
The balance forces have the same strength, but the forces pull in opposite directions. One way to understand forces is to draw arrows to represent their direction. One dog pulls the rope toy to the left. The other dog pulls the toy to the right. Using arrows on pictures can help us model or show that all forces have direction. A force has strength. Look at the picture. What dog do you think will win the tuggy match? The brown and white dog on the left is bigger. It can probably pull with a stronger force. When two forces of different strengths pull on the same object, the object will move toward the stronger pull. When two forces of different strength push on an object, the object moves away from the stronger push. When pushes and pulls are balanced, the object will not move. Can you predict if something will move when it is pushed or pulled? If you think carefully about strength and directions of all forces on an object, you can predict motion of the object. Try it yourself. You can draw pictures and arrows to help explain what causes something to move or stop moving. All right, and we are going to stop here after chapter one for today.